I truly do not believe anybody had this on their bingo card for 2023, but Ark is getting another creature, which is pretty exciting. We've had another creature submission, which is something they've done in the past, like twice before, once for the Lost Island, and then again for Furiter, where people submitted their ideas, and then they uh, were all compiled into a top 10. Now we are in the voting stage. So right now, what you got to do is watch this video, figure out which ones of these creatures you like the most, and then rank them in the order that you would like them. But pay attention to the way that you're actually ranking things. If there's something that you really hate, you know, pop it down to the bottom. If there's something that you really like, pop it up to the very top. But also pay attention to the order between the top and the bottom, because if nobody votes for your favorite thing, that goes away. And then suddenly you've got a new number one right here. So that's why you got to pay attention to every single one of these things. You can kind of wing it with some of them and just put them at the bottom if you truly do not like them. But yeah, so we're going to be going over all the creature submissions in this video. So guys, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button if you enjoy this let's go so before we get started i should probably also mention that uh, i'm not going to be reading through all these dossiers and going by the ideas that the people have submitted about their creature mainly because well you know in the past wildcard has not kept a lot of the ideas that have been submitted they just went with the creature itself and that's why i feel like we should all be voting by what we kind of want to see in arc so if you want to see you know something like this in arc you vote for this if you don't want to see something like this for arc put it at the bottom of your list so yeah let's let's go on anyway the first submission is a crocodilian creature called the rosanna and um yeah there's really there's really not a whole lot uh on this creature to be honest on google i i had like a little luck here um there's really not a huge amount i mean what is is this supposed to be a person here that's kind of like a rough idea of the size of it um these are not the actual creature itself is this it maybe uh yeah that's actually it right there so it stands pretty tall man that is crazy looking uh, almost as tall as a modern day human so yeah i don't know i mean like another crocodilian creature in arc could be kind of interesting but at the same time they need to make it different from what we already currently have we have the capro perfect little ambush creature pretty easy to deal with i say easy though so many times they've absolutely wrecked me uh but it's a it's a really scary creature early game and then late game it's kind of like useless um, we have the Sarko really fast in the water. It's kind of got its own little grab ability. So something like this would have to be very much different from those two creatures. And um, I think maybe adding some sort of bleed or something to it would be a good idea, which is, I do believe is what this person is actually also saying, to be honest. So that I could easily see that being added in uh, in that kind of way where, you know, it's going to be able to bleed out creatures. But I don't think it's going to be a super tanky creature anyway. So yeah, I don't know. It could be kind of interesting to add another creature to the swamp, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, if you like the Rosanna, pop that up at the top of your list. The next one we have is the Asinonix, maybe? Uh, it's a giant cheetah, basically. So uh, your basic premise right here is prehistoric giant cheetah. Um, here, right here, we have a size comparison between modern day cheetahs on the right and then the, the prehistoric version, which is this one on the left. Um, not a whole lot taller, but definitely a little bit longer, uh, maybe slightly bulkier as well. Now, with a creature like this, we need to kind of consider, we already have, you know, the, the Sabertooth as our main cat in Ark. The Thyla doesn't count, by the way. The Thyla is a marsupial, not actually a cat, although it's kind of like a cross between a lion and a bear, people like to say, but anyway yeah so we we kind of have to consider a creature like this how could it fit into arc and i think the perfect way would honestly be just you know making it like a a, a saber tooth on on freaking meth or something like that it's got to be super fast with really good stamina the saber is already a pretty good creature for traveling but you know there's a lot faster things in arc and i think making this one of the fastest ground mans could be a pretty interesting way of implementing it i don't think it should be very very powerful though because like something like this doesn't have a huge amount of bulk to it and that's realistically how you're going to be able to take down big things but i don't know something like this could be kind of interesting you know we'll have to wait and see um can't say i'm super hyped for another cat in arc though because you know we, we don't really want to be replacing some of our current ones i mean even the shadow main could te technically also be slightly a bit of a cat in arc anyway so um they they definitely would need to find a way to make this a lot different from the other ones to make me excited for it but um yeah it could be cool i don't know i i do like the idea of mutating these patterns though that is probably the part that i like the most out of this one so next up we have the panthera atrox which is the largest feline of all time and um again another cat type creature uh could be kind of interesting though i mean like 
this one's got a lot more bulk to it and uh it's quite big here's the size comparison between a uh, modern day tiger a person a smilodon over here and then the panthera right here honestly i feel like i don't know how the smilodon didn't make it into the vote at all the smilodon would be a really cool creature in arc but um yeah i don't know could be kind of interesting to have this anyway uh it's basically it's just a giant uh, american style lion i guess um like that's all i'm seeing here so yeah i don't know we'll, we'll have to wait and see like if something like this could find its way into arc and and be viable i mean like i feel like people would just compare it to the thyla all the time and again the thyla is not technically a lion or anything like that but you know um i feel like they, they you would need to find a good way to differentiate this from other creatures like that and i feel like it's a little bit too similar i don't know but um i don't know it's just something like this could be kind of interesting it's got a lot more bulk to it so it could probably be able to take down big creatures as well um maybe some bleed i mean like bleed is something i constantly say should be added to creatures and i i really hate it when i'm getting bled out by creatures but at the same time so many creatures in arc have big teeth and, and big claws and they don't do anything besides just damage so yeah i don't know maybe adding some sort of like bleed to something like this could be interesting or like a gnaw attack or something like that where it just like latches on because that's something that lions often do when they actually get their prey they they gnaw and they kind of like latch onto them and and uh and just ruin them pretty much but um yeah i don't know not a whole lot else to say about this type of creature i guess we'd have like mini simbas uh <laughs> that'd be kind of interesting i could just imagine the thumbnails i could make out of uh out of like a baby version of this but um yeah i don't know what do you guys think about this one okay i have absolutely no idea how to pronounce that hatsigo uh, uh, yeah i don't i don't know it's a giant flying creature um this could be interesting i'll tell you that right because this thing's actually quite big in real life it's basically like the size of a giraffe which is roughly i think i don't i don't think it would have the same wingspan as a quetzal but could be almost as big you know it's kind of you could kind of consider this as like a less um you know a, like a quetzal that can carry less but can fly faster and maybe is stronger so more, more of like an aggressive version of the quetzal and that actually kind of interests me a little bit if i'm going to be honest um something like this could be really fun in arc and an aggressive one as well at that we don't actually have any aggressive flyers even i think the what do you call it the tropio i don't believe is an actual aggressive creature i think it's neutral right maybe if it is aggressive i mean it's flying really really high up so if we had something like this with a crazy aggro range on it imagine how terrifying it would be if you were like in the forest and then suddenly you could hear a noise and then you look up and there's just this behemoth flying down at you looking to pick you up likely because that's probably the way they'd probably try to kill you uh just like the tropio the tropio can pick you up and gnaw out your armor and just destroy it um but yeah i don't know like the idea of just something like this actually kind of interests me just a little bit um but yeah i don't know if you guys want to see another big flyer in arc i guess vote for this one um i'm not so what is this why has it got like a giant jelly bean on it <laughs> obviously that's some sort of like a air uh bubble type thing maybe for some like the ability to like balance better in the air or something like that i don't really know um oh my god there's an eating a baby dinosaur <laughs> that's horrifying yeah okay actually i think it'd be kind of interesting if it had some sort of like devour ability where it would be able to just like you know devour small creatures like that it wouldn't actually kill them you know not in the same sense that we have to kill other things in arc if it just took it in its jaw and then you could actually just do like a swallow ability that could be kind of interesting i don't know something like this actually could be kind of fun in arc i don't know <laughs> like an aggressive quetzal sounds terrifying so yeah they definitely need to make it faster though because oh my god we all hate how slow the quetzal goes and i know that for a fact anyway uh moving on this one is is pretty cool okay so next up we have another one that was in so many votes before the rhino natha ganatha maybe i'm not sure how to pronounce that um here's one thing that i just got to point out about this creature this is the size of them in real life that's a human hand this is a centimeter it's smaller than everything so you know their idea here is that and i'll go with some of their idea because like i feel like this would be the only way you could implement it their idea is that it would be gigantic um here's a picture of it picking up a rex uh is that gonna load there we go i mean their idea would be that it would be able to pick up quite a lot of creatures um i i do like the idea of it diving into the water and picking up like water creatures but that doesn't actually work if you remove a water creature from the water it immediately dies in ragdolls so that's not really going to happen but if it was able to go into the water that would be kind of cool you know a flyer that could go on land water and 
and obviously in the air as well do we have something like that i think technically no i don't think we do i, I know the desert titan can go into water anyway it doesn't matter uh i guess the dolphin technically but it can't land anyway so yeah so something like this could be kind of interesting but at the same time like that is a far stretch from the actual size of them you know now arc obviously has a track record of making things bigger but at the same time like this is this is a little bit extreme now i do have to say i would love the idea of a giant flying insect and i feel like these patterns would be so cool to mutate as well uh very spooky obviously going with the kind of like butterfly type thing where they have like almost eyes on the wings to seem like they're a bigger scarier looking creature but i mean at the same time like a little face like that i mean a big face like that also is pretty terrifying as well so um yeah i don't know if uh if you want to see something like this in arc you know obviously vote for it i i do like this one don't get me wrong i'm just hating on it just a little bit because of how small it actually is i mean it's like it's mosquito sized and they're making it like dragon sized you know it's a it's definitely a far stretch and i you know i wouldn't be too annoyed if they did do it like that i feel like if you're gonna add something like this the only way you could possibly add it is making it gigantic and people would just be disappointed if it wasn't so i don't know if you guys like this one vote for it um again i do kind of like the idea of it being able to go into the water that is something that insects can do so we'll see we'll see how it goes and uh yeah let's move on actually one more thing it, it, i do i like this i like the saddle it's like a motorcycle kind of like a harley saddle <laughs> that that's cool if they did this they better keep the freaking saddle bad that's awesome looking next up we have the myotragus which i do believe was in quite a few of the creature votes before this is essentially more like a mountain goat type creature um and if they added a goat like this they'd need to go with like goat abilities in real life and if you guys didn't know goats can basically scale uh you know sheer cliffs which is incredible it's just something that like it's a wonder to look at and you gotta see it like sometimes they do it going after salt and stuff uh like little salt deposits so they'll go up a cliff and then just start licking that and then go back down it's honestly kind of crazy um I think that's also kind of like the idea that's being submitted here as well it would be able to sniff out certain resources like crystal and stuff like that maybe not super useful like for you know hardened players where we already know where to look for these things but I don't know maybe they could add some sort of new resource or something that it could go after and it could be used in some sort of way uh but yeah I don't know I kind of like the idea of something like this um but you know late game probably not super useful being able to go up cliffs is kind of fun um and then obviously it would probably have some sort of like crazy horn attack or something like that and obviously be able to jump really high so pretty much everything that's being submitted here i could see being added to r because there's nothing that wild or crazy uh real life um is that it that that's that's technically it <laughs> okay so uh it's it's a lot smaller than alexandra right here um it's so yeah i don't know obviously again you know there's no issue with arc sizing things up they've done it before they'll do it again but at the same time yeah i mean like um a little mountain goat could be kind of cool if you guys want to see it uh vote for it i suppose it's kind of like a giant version of a shine horn <laughs> actually it'd be kind of interesting to have one of these guys and a shine horn and then you're just like riding on it with the shine horn on you yeah anyway so that is the giant goat all right this is going to be a tough one to pronounce giant bison so yeah the giant bison uh it's also been in quite a few of the votes i think it's actually been in all three now um their idea here is basically you know it would have something to do with the milk um and then i guess cheese could be kind of cool i'd love the idea if they actually added like a cart in the back like that as the saddle instead of actually riding on it you ride on like a little cart behind it i think just aesthetically i'd love that for arc but i couldn't i, I don't know i couldn't see that actually being added that would be really interesting though could you imagine you'd have like a bunch of storage in the back as well it would be able to like pull a lot more than um than its actual carry weight maybe like some sort of weight reduction whatever you put in the carriage anyway so yeah i mean like something like that would be really cool especially if you could actually have two of them Ooh, like a double creature in one saddle that could be interesting i don't know you see like these are all things like we can kind of go with some of these ideas here but like at the same time they're not gonna add them like that they you know they're gonna figure out their own way and and honestly i can't actually see them doing two creatures in one saddle anyway so just disregard that anyway yeah so i mean everybody knows what a bison is um giant uh creatures which are i they're still around nowadays right i'm pretty sure maybe they're not i don't actually know uh all i remember is uh, seeing a bunch of dead ones of these and like uh 
in <laughs> like Red Dead and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know. They might still be around nowadays. Are they? I think they probably are. Uh, yeah, they are still around. They are near threatened. Okay, cool. Good to know. We don't really, we don't have these around my side of the world, so I wouldn't really know. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, so, I mean, a big creature like this, uh, lots of carry weight, um, the ability to obviously reduce resources will be great as well on it. Uh, some sort of, like, maybe horn attack or something like that, maybe that could inflict some sort of crazy knockback or bleed or something like that could be cool, and I feel like something like this would probably also have some sort of charge. Um, one thing I would like to actually see is maybe some sort of variation in horns or something like that where you could kind of like change its stance, almost kind of like the, the Stego. You know, you could change its stance to be more like more of a defensive horn or maybe like more of an attack horn, which is a little bit out there, but at the same time, that could be kind of cool. I really hope that wasn't actually submitted as one of the ideas because I just came up with that on the spot right there after seeing a couple different horn variations right here. Anyway, yeah, so a giant bison, do you want to see it in arc? Vote for it. Next up, we have the Notrosaurus, um, and it's essentially a uh, bit of a water creature that's also a land creature. Um, Google Images doesn't really have many pictures of it on land, but here's it in the water, and, uh, it, you know, a small kind of waterish creature could be kind of cool. Um, their idea is that, obviously, you would be able to bring it around on land as well um and it, you basically would feed it eggs um maybe they actually ate eggs in in the wild back then who knows but uh yeah so something like this could be kind of interesting you know maybe like i don't know i mean like it, it's kind of in my opinion it's a little bit basic <laughs> you know just a small little water mount like we have lots of these like semi-aquatic creatures in arc already they need to make this one way different you know we have the barry we like there's so many i can't even name them all uh so yeah i don't know i mean not super thrilled about something like this i mean like it looks kind of cool in these images and i'm sure it would look great in arc but would it really fit into the gameplay and would people really use it i don't really know uh one idea that they did submit is the fact that it would provide you oxygen if they added this i could see them doing that as well you know a, another kind of a step up from the Diplocalus uh as a you know a creature that you'd be able to bring into the water as like your scuba tank instead of actually having to get scuba you know, it's a little bit of a step between Diplocalus and Scuba, but at the same time, would we use it after that? Who knows? Because uh, something like this probably wouldn't be too powerful. And um, all in all, just my opinion about Ark right now is that the the ocean sucks. There's hardly anything to do. We need to we need to have more things to do in the ocean for me to want an ocean creature. But you know, this thing can go on land, so that's kind of cool as well. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think about it? Uh, I'm sorry if I'm hating on this one a little bit. You know, I've just I truly feel like the ocean in Ark is just a massive waste of time, you know. Uh, there's there's really not a whole lot to do in it, um, you know. We need, like, just a giant ocean map, an only ocean map with, like, caves underwater or something like that that actually have, like, the actual map where you're able to walk around in or something. I don't know. Just my opinion. <laughs> I'm just... Yeah, I don't know. We need more things to do in there. That's that's it. Next one is the Gorgonopsid, and it is another creature that has been in quite a few of these votes. Uh, real life wise, uh, they were actually really, really small. We had a photo here. Where did it go? Uh, yeah, right here. So, I mean, they're, they're relatively small in real life, uh, but obviously you'd probably have to make it at least maybe between a Saber and a Thyla sized, I would say. So, yeah, just in general, something like this could be kind of interesting. Um, they've got big jaws, so some sort of, like, crazy bite attack. Maybe, like, a charge bite could be kind of cool. We don't really see too much of that in Ark, actually. I'd, I'd like to see more of that. But, um, yeah, so another kind of, like, uh, uh, I guess, bit of a submission is that it would be, like, a bloodhound. Um, so you'd be able to, like, sick it on some stuff. Um, and maybe, like, have a little pack of them or something as well. It's got, like, a wounding bite. So, yeah, you basically would send it in on things to uh slow them down or maybe just uh kill them in general um yeah there's another there's a picture of it actually eating a baby with its mom right beside it that's really horrifying <laughs> nature's scary man but uh yeah i don't know something like this could be kind of fun um it looks like in a lot of these photos it's just taking down a bunch of small creatures so yeah oh my god what the hell is this is this a size comparison no it's obviously not that would be kind of weird but um yeah, Gorgonos did another creature that's been in so many of these votes before. Will it win this time? Who knows? But um, I do like it. I mean, like, I like the idea of this creature, and I've liked it. I've played a couple mods that have had this creature in it before as well. But, um, you know, will, will we have it? I feel like there's some stronger entries on this list, but I don't know. Could be kind of interesting. Then the last submission is, of course, the Bastion Beetle, which has been in, I think, all of the submissions before as well. Uh, do we have... Okay, yeah, so... 
the the basic idea with this one is and first of all actually let's look at the real life stuff i can't find anything on this creature because i don't think it exists in its current form um i think that just in general it's uh they're basically sizing it up a huge amount obviously um and these are like some traces of its fossilized specimen where um it's pretty small like that's how big is that that's a millimeter so this is another one where it's a gigantic version of something that was tiny before but uh yeah so going back to it anyway the one part that i do like out of this creature is its actual process of um of getting it tamed and, and raised up to being its full self so the idea would be that it would start off as a little larva and then it would eventually you'd have it on your shoulder it would eventually uh you know ball up a little bit and then it would start this process of becoming either a female where it's going to be small with no horn or a male where it's going to be a lot bigger with a horn and uh i kind of like that if they kept the female as like a lot smaller version of it i think that'd be kind of interesting um and then obviously you know the male if it would be gigantic with that horn would be really cool uh sexual dimorphism is something that arc should have more of by the way that's not like a sexy dimorph that literally means like you know some like a male or a female being bigger uh you know for obvious reasons you know in spiders and stuff in real life females are a lot bigger in a lot of mammals males are a lot bigger but um yeah so something like this could be kind of interesting obviously the idea of like the different horns could be cool you're almost like rolling the dice as well like, you might get a really cool one with like really good stats and then you end up getting a female which sucks but yeah I don't know could be kind of interesting um their idea for it as well I'll just go a little bit along with this because this is something where again like I I cannot see them doing this but their idea was that you basically would sit on the back and it would almost be like a bit of a tank and um you'd basically have mini guns on it now we just got the Andrew Sarkis so I can't see this happening but you know something like this could be kind of interesting I feel like they definitely would go with something a lot different um you know <laughs> I cannot see them actually doing that at all so we'll, we'll see but um I think that's also only on the female right there as well kind of hard to tell this this dossier is very grainy but um yeah I don't know could be could be really cool uh again cannot see them doing the minigun type thing on it but we'll we'll, we'll have to wait and see uh yeah so maybe potentially the ability to fly as well could be cool um that that's really it and I what I really want is if this does get added I want an I want a thumbnail of two males wrestling with their horns like they do in real life uh that could be kind of interesting <laughs> anyway so yeah that is the giant uh what is it called again the giant beetle or the bastion beetle um yeah I don't know could be could be a cool like little process of actually raising them up I like that that's definitely interesting you know you'd find them in this larva state as well yeah I like that kind of process of it but just in general does a gigantic insect interest you if it does vote for it and uh that's actually all of these submissions so yeah go ahead and vote I'll drop a link down below uh all you got to do is I think you do actually have to sign up and everything so it doesn't allow you to vote twice obviously but um yeah go ahead and sign up and then vote for it and uh obviously pay attention to the exact order that you're putting everything and then hit submit I'm not going to be telling you what I'm voting for by the way I'm not going to be uh sharing any of that information until afterwards and then I'll be comfortable with doing that the main reason is and I say this all the time when it comes to these votes I do not want you to vote for what I'm voting for just because you want to please me because there are people out there that do that I know not everybody but a lot of people will do that they'll just mindlessly flock towards uh you know doing whatever I want so yeah obviously I've given some opinions on these things maybe you could kind of guess which ones I don't like that much but I'm not trying to specifically say don't vote for these things if you like them vote for them hell I mean maybe I'm completely wrong maybe the ones that I like the most are going to be the least voted for ones and everything like that but um yeah so that's pretty much it guys uh hit the like button if you enjoyed this and uh yeah also post down below what have you voted for uh maybe post the whole order if you want or just your top one. Oh, real quick the vote actually does end on february 6th which is uh monday and um yeah so basically we have like a week and a half to go and i assume that the winner will be officially announced on that friday on the 10th so exciting stuff cannot wait to see what we actually are getting in arc next and uh yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.